Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, chances are you have a Pico 4 and you're watching this video because you want to know about the PC VR gaming capability, the wireless routers and everything else in between it because I have found it a little bit difficult to work with. So first of all, the reason why I picked Pico 4 was because um, I was one of the few that pre-ordered the Decker gear, but I highly doubt I'm going to be seeing that by the end of the year because they've already pushed it back 18 months and I thought, yeah, that's not going to work. I needed a new wireless router, but I didn't know which one to get because a long time ago I had the Oculus Rift, which had the TP cast, and that allowed you to do the Oculus Rift with complete wireless capability, and that was brilliant. So that involved the TP cast, but I'm going to compare this with the TP cast, uh, my standard internet hub, which is a hub 2, which is old, and the Nighthawk AX3000, which I chose to use. So how fast does my router need to be in order to play wireless games flawlessly? This was not easy to figure out. I used the TP cast as a guide because that gave me flawless wireless playing with the Oculus. So I had a look and it's difficult to find the speed for that. But in my research, I found 1.65 to 2.3 gigabits per second. I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is, but at least it gives me an idea. So the first thing I did, obviously, I connected it with my Hub 2, which is nearly 10 years old. Suffice it to say, it didn't do very well. The TP cast and the Hub 2 is Wi-Fi 5, not Wi-Fi 6. But when I researched exactly how fast was my Hub 2, it told me it was 1300 megabits a second. You would have thought that'd be good, but then I noticed a bit at the bottom. Maximum transfer speed. Yeah, that's when I thought something was a bit odd there. So in my search to find a good router, I found the AX3000, and that one offered 3 gigabits per second. Woo! However, that is in total. It does not mean that I am going to get 3 gigabytes per second for my VR. 2.4 gigahertz will give you up to 600 megabits per second and 5 gigahertz up to 2400, but there's two of them, so it's actually half. I discovered this to be very true, as I'll show you in a second, but it does also matter where the wireless router is. I found that out the hard way because I'm in my room right now and my wireless router is placed, uh, the AX3000 is placed in the living room. So there's only a very thin wall blocking me from the router, but that does actually make a difference because the good thing about the Pico 4 is that it comes with virtual desktop. You might be aware of this, you have to pay for it, but through the virtual desktop, it'll tell you how fast the speed connection is. And this is what I got when I opened it. You can barely make it out in the top there, 144. That's nasty, that is, that is nasty. So I'm serious guys, all I did was open my door that's it. All I did was open my door and I ended up getting 360. It nearly, it, it's more than double. Just opening my door. I don't claim to be an expert, so please bear with me, but I decided to go into the same room as the router and guess what I got? 1200. Clearly a significant increase. So make a note for future reference. If you want to have a good connection with your Wi-Fi router, be in the same room. But what was really curious was that I was getting exactly 1200. It didn't go down, it didn't go up. So that, it kind of gave me the impression it was capped at 1200. Which kind of makes sense because it offers two 5 gigahertz, totaling 2400. So I thought, is there something I can do about that? Installing the AX3000 I found a little bit difficult. I downloaded the app and I followed the instructions, but it wouldn't do it. So I had to find a way to install it through the PC first, then I reinstalled it from the app. Weird, but it worked. Now at this point forward, uh, be careful because we're going to go into the firmware of this. If you want to change the settings for your AX3000, you go into the Netgear's firmware. When you connect your router to the internet, go into your internet browser and type, for me anyway, that. That will take you into the Nighthawk uh, configuration utility window. <laughs> It'll ask you for a login and password, but you should have um, done all that already with your app. But typically the login will be admin and some basic password that you'll probably pick. But anyway, the idea is you should get something like that. Now under basics, I went into wireless and I scrolled down to the 5G and I couldn't help but notice that the mode for it was by default 1200 megabits per second. And that makes sense considering that I did get 1200. So I've bumped it up to 2400 and that should work now, but I don't know yet as I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully it will. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but that's what I've done, and I'm going to see if that works. But if it doesn't, I'll just undo the changes I did. But the point is, I've done all that. I now do PC VR wirelessly. It works, it's smooth, it's effective. 
So what I can recommend to you then is if you're going to find a router to do your Pico 4 flawlessly, find one that is Wi-Fi 6, ideally in the same room as you, and offers a minimum of 1000 megabits per second. That's my personal view. Not an expert, remember? That's just how I feel. I know Pico 4 at some point are going to be releasing their own wireless router, so might be a good idea just to wait until they do that, because this one right now is connected to my internet as well. I'd like one that was devoted just to the PC, where no internet connection is required. Anyway, yes, thank you for joining me, and I hope my video has been useful to you. If you want to leave a comment below, though, to point out the errors I've done or some sort of mistake, feel free to. I'll see you soon.